We are ready now in the Tefillah Shia to embark on Karbanais. There was a Chiluke Deus, whether I should say a Shir on the Karbanais. So tonight I just want to give a little introduction about uh, saying Karbanais by davening. And then we'll see Behem Shechadvarim exactly what to learn inside. But the Karbanais in the Siddur starts with the Akedah. The Akedah from Parshas Vayera, there's a, a Tefillah beforehand, and then the actual Psukim of the Akedah. That everyone could learn Chumash uh, Rashi with the Mefarshim in Parshas Vayera. But the idea of saying the Akedah, we mentioned this a little in the Chumash here on Parshas Vayera, is brought down in Shulchan Aruch and Simon Aleph, Sif Hay, where the Mechaber says, Toiv Loimar Parshas HaAkedah. It's good to say the Parshas HaKeda. Being medayik the Lashon of the Shulchan Aruch, it doesn't mean that it's a chiv to say Parshas HaKeda, but he says there's an Indian Toiv Loimar, it's good to say the Parshas HaKeda, which means a person has to come a little early and uh, give himself time to say the HaKeda by davening in the beginning of Karbanais. The Beis Yosef expounds on this a little more and says that there's really two um, two tayelas and two uh, purposes in saying the Akedah. One is Kedei Lizkar Zchus Avais, Lefnei HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Pasha to remember the Zchus Avais of Avram and Yitzchak who together withstood the great Nisayan of the Akedah. But in addition to that he says, V'gam l'achnia Yitzroi l'avoidas Hashem Yizbarach. K'moi shemosar Yitzchak nafshay. Just like Yitzchak was ready to give himself up, mamish to be killed, l'shem Laman Kvoit Shamayim, and to be Makadashim Shamayim. So the lesson that we're supposed to take out of saying the Akeda every day is Lahachnia Yitzroy to be Machnia the Yit Sahara. And there, of course, it has to be when uh, we say it with Kavana, when we know what we're saying, and we say it with Kavana to, uh, to do the right thing, even if. It means at kedei mesiras nefesh, and sometimes we have a bas call also that tells us what what to do. We have a shulchan aruch, we have a rav, whatever it is that tells us what to do, and it's hard to do that. So, in addition to the parshas ha'akeda being a zecher of the schus of the avos of Ramon Yitzchak, it's also a reminder to us <coughs> how to act in our lives, how to act in our lives. La avdei b'chol nafshecha to afilu hunaitel as nafshecha to be able to make the right decisions to serve Hashem even kedei mesiras nefesh. Of course, it doesn't mean that we're ever going to reach the madrega of Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov, but we have to remember what it says in the Tana Devei Leo in Parach of Hay. It says Kol Echad VeEchad Mi Yisrael Chayev Loimar. Every year is supposed to say Masa Yagiu Maisai LeMaisai Avoisai Avram Yitzchak VeYaakov. When will my actions reach the madrega of Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov? Which of course means that not that we're able to be on the high madrega of Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov, but we're supposed to always say when are my actions going to reach the madrega? Means we have to be a Ben Aliyah, we have to be someone who's striving for the highest madregas and that's how we'll be able to maximize our potential and our koichas in Avodas Hashem and that's why we say the Akedah every morning according to the second reason of the Beis Yosef and it's good night to know one more thing and that is um, what it says in the Seder Hayoyim the Seder Hayoyim of Rabbi Moshe ben Yehuda Machir, the one who composed the Moida Ani, so he brings on page Sadi in the Sefer Seder Hayoyim he brings the words of Rabbi Shem Bayechai in the Zayar HaKadosh in a section called the Tikkunei Zayar, Rabbi Shem Bayechai says that there is nothing that protects a person from Tsaras and from Misa more than saying the par- the the parsha of the carbon the Akedas Yitzchak. It pasha it takes away all the. Uh, problems, all the tsarists that come, and the Seder Hayyim explains it, al Pisoid, that the Midas Hadin, when you say the Akedah, so the Midas Hadin, so to speak, is nekad, is tied up, and the Kayach of the Midas Hadin is taken away, and therefore Hashem judges us only with Midas Arachamim and saves us from any Xeras and from any uh, tsarists. Akedas Yitzchak is Ma'al Yali Yisrael in order to remember uh, the, the schusim and to protect us from any marin bishin, to protect us from any bad happenings, that's what the Tikkun Zayar says. And it's good for us to know, it's good for us sometimes to, if we have the opportunity to give advice to someone, if someone is uh, in a situation of a tsara and he wants to know what's a great schus, you could always advise them to say tilim and to daven, but one solid piece of advice is to advise them to say the parashas ha'akeda b'chal yoyim. Firstly, it says in Shulchan Aruch, toiv loymar parashas ha'akeda, but besides that, we're given the avtacha from Rabshim by Yechoi, that there's nothing that protects a person from Misa and from Marin Bishan, from Tsaras, more than saying the Akeda. So even though we're not going to learn it word by word inside, 
because that's really a parsha and chumish that everyone can learn, but the importance of saying the Akedah, and it's worth coming a few minutes early, doesn't say Davka, they have to say it here. Sometimes if I don't have time, I'll say it after the davening, but to say the Akedah B'chal Yaim is something that's definitely a great schos. Now let's talk about saying Karbanais B'chlal, um, in, at this junction in davening. Some people don't say any of the karbanais, some people do say parts of the karbanais, but the Avudram says that the reason why the karbanais is here, that we're supposed to say the karbanais before the davening, is because the davening is really in place of the karbanais. The Avoida in the base Amigdash was the karbanais, and the Gemara says in Brachas Tafcha Vava Mebeis, Tfilo is keneget temidim tiknum. The Chazal were masaking the Indian of Tfila to be in place of the karbanais. Shachris was keneged, is keneged, the carbon that was the carbon tamid shal shachar. Mincha is keneged, the carbon tamid shal bein arbaim. And Mayriv is keneged, the burning of the fats, the haktara seimurim, that was on the Mizbeach all night. That's the Tfilas Mayriv. And Rashi actually says in Shabbos, Daftes Amid Beis, that that's why Tfilas Arvis Rishus. La halacha Tfilas Arvis is Rishus. It's different than the rest of the Tfilas. Why is that? It's like Rashi because the carbon tamid shal shachar and tamid shal bein arbaim is ma'akev. But the haktara say murim, the burning of the fats, that's not ma'akiv, the kapara of a carbon. If the fats were not burnt, still the bilum of the carbon gets a kapara. So since it wasn't ma'akiv, that's why there's a concept of tefillahs arvis rishus. It's kedai to mention though that the Rambam says in Hilchas Tefillah, in Perak Aleph, Halach Avav, that even though we pass in tefillahs arvis rishus, it doesn't mean that it's optional because Klal Yisrael was makabal on themselves k'may chayva, to dav in Mayriv. But al kapanim the idea that the the tefillahs that we have, Shachris Min Chamayev, is connected to Karbanais. That's how when we start the tefillah every day by Shachris, there's an Indian to say the Karbanais to show that these tefillahs are connected to Karbanais. In addition to that, says the Avodram, it's more than just that the tefillah is connected to carbon, but when you say the Karbanais, it's Ki'ilu, you're actually bringing the Karbanais. This is based on the Gemara in Tainus, Daf Chav Zayin Amid Beis, and in Megillah, Daf Lamed Aleph Amid Beis, that the Rabbi Nishalaylam told Avram Avinu that even in the times of Churban, in the times of the Zabay Samikdash, the Yidin will be able to bring a carbon. But even in the times of Churban, if they are Kairim Lafanai, if they read the Seder Karbanais during the times where there's no Beis Samikdash, Mala Ani Aleim Ki'ilu Hikrivim Lafanai, Hashem will consider it as if we brought a carbon, and I will pardon them, I will forgive them for all the Havainas. So we know in the times of the Beis Hamidrash we had an opportunity to get Kaparas Havainas by bringing a carbon chatas on a shayig and by bringing different carbonates for different Averas. And today we don't have that opportunity. So we have the opportunity every day. If we say carbonates, so in addition to reminding us that the carbon is connected, the tefillah is connected to carbon, but the carbonates itself, when we read the Parshas HaKarbonates, the Dinam of the carbon then that's ke'ilu, we were makar of a carbon. How could you bring a carbon today without the Beis HaMikdash? You bring a carbon today by saying the inyanam of the carbonos, and then that's ke'ilu, we brought a carbon. So I just want to share uh, another insight into the idea of saying karbanos, and that is based on a meyerdika piece that the Nitziv has in his sefer called Rina Shel Taira. Rina Shel Taira is a sefer that Nitziv wrote on Shir Hashirim, and in Parak Al of Pasach Ches, he has a beautiful piece about karbanos. And he says that the Iker Tachlis of the carbon in the times of the Beis HaMikdash was Kedesha Tishama V'Tiskabel Tfilasai Ba'aisai Shah. Of course, if a person doesn't have virus, he has to bring a carbon. But there were times that people just came and volunteered and brought a carbon. What was the ikar purpose of the carbon? I thought, stam, that's a, an avoida to Hashem and a dava that you bring to the Rabbani Shalom. The Nitziv says the ikar avoida of bringing carbon is in the times of the Beis Amigdash was if a person had a tefillah that he wanted to be answered, so he brought the carbon, like ilu a matana to Hashem, in order to be a schus that his tefillah should be answered. And he says that's pshat by Cain and Hevel when they brought a carbon. They brought a carbon al hatzlachas iskehim. They wanted to be matzliach, so they daven to Hashem, and they brought a carbon that Hashem should answer that tefillas. And that's why the pasuk says in Bereishis dalad dalad vayisha Hashem el Hevel veel minchasay. Hashem listened. Hashem turned and accepted Hevel and his mincha. So what's his, his mincha means his carbon. So what does it mean el Hevel? It's a double lashon, El Hevel ve'el men chasai. Zakt the, the Nitziv, what it means is Hashem turned to Hevel's tefillah. Hashem answered Hevel's tefillah and Hevel's carbon. The carbon taka helped that Hashem helped uh, Hevel's tefillah and that the tefillah itself was referred to El Hevel, to he himself, because the Pasuk in Shmuel Aleph, 
Parak Aleph Pasak Tezvav says, Va'eshbaich is nafshi lefnei Hashem. When Chana Davin, she said she was like pouring out her own nefesh. That's the nefesh of a person when they express themselves, they pour out their hearts in tefillah. So that's why Va'isha Hashem el Hevel ve'amenchase. Menchase means the carbon, but el Hevel means to the tefillah of Hevel. And that was in the times of the Beis Hamigdash. <coughs> Zakt the the Nitziv, that in addition to being in the times of the Beis Hamigdash, it's the same thing that we know when there's a Mechitza, he says in the times of the Beis HaMikdash itself, there's a Mechitza Shel Barzel, an iron curtain that separates between our Tefillah and Avinu Shabbat Shamaim, and the carbon takes down that iron curtain and takes down the Mechitza that separates between a person and the, the, the Tefillah being answered, between a, the person and the Rabbani Shalom, and therefore the carbon is the greatest chus to have our Tefillah answered. So that's what the Nitziv says about Bizman Sir Beis HaMikdash HaYakayim. So I just want to tzushtel this Nitziv to say that it could be that that's why we say Karbanis in the beginning of tefillah. Because as we're about to daven, we want our tefillahs to be answered. So what's the greatest chus for our tefillahs to be answered? To bring a carbon. Ah, but we can't bring a carbon. We don't have a Amigdash. So you say carbonis, and the Rabbani Shalom says it's ki'ilu, hekrivim lefanai. So we have these few insights when it comes to saying the carbonis. Firstly, the tefillah itself is connected to carbon, so we remind ourselves what the ikar avoida is. The ikar avoida is carbonis. Not only that, but when we say the carbonis, it's ki'ilu, hekrivim. It's as if we brought the carbonis, and as the Nitziv is saying, bringing carbonis is the greatest the greatest gula, the greatest help to have our tefillahs answered, that's what they did in the times of the Beis HaMikdash. So in today's day and age, if we can't bring the carbon, but to say karbanis before the tefillah, whether it's a chiyav or not, whether you have to or not, but definitely we could use the nusach of toiv loimar, that it's good to say it, because that'll be the greatest help for our tefillah to be answered. Now, Rabbeinu Yoyna, the Talmidei Rabbeinu Yoyna, the end of the Gemara and Brachas, on the Yud Amid Beis, it's Hei Amid Amir Aleph in the Dafi Arif, says that the Amiras karbanis, saying karbanis every day, in the beginning of Shachris, he chayva. It is a chayv. It's not a, an optional thing. It's a chayva. As a matter of fact, the Beis Yosef in Arachayim at the end of Simon Mem Zayin brings from a no- number of Rishonim, from the Agur and from the Chuvas Maril, the early Achrayim, that even though women are not mechayiv in the midst of Talmud Torah, but they still should say Birchas HaTorah every morning. Why? Because there are certain parts of Torah that they are mechayiv to learn. And that is Parshas HaKarbanes. Because they have to say Parshas HaKarbanes and understand what they're saying every day. So you see that they hold an extreme that even ladies are mechayiv to say Karbanes in the beginning of davening. But Rabbi Yoyna doesn't stress about the Nashim, but he says that it's a chayva every single day. And there are many Paiskim who don't treat saying Karbanes as a chayva mamish. But it's important to note that the Parshas HaTamid, which is just a few pages after the Parshas HaAkeda in the Siddur, the Parshas HaTamid where we lay in every Rishchidosh, Tzav is B'nai Yisrael v'amata alayhem es karbani l'achmi, that all the Pais can say is a chayva. Rab Chaim Kenevsky Shlita in the Orchus Yosher says, Parshas HaTamid mevur b'paiskim shehu chiyuv. And what he's referring to is the Ramah. The Ramah, in the beginning of Simon Memches, says, V'oymrim parshas ha-tamid. He doesn't say like the Nusach we said by the Akeda, Toiv Loimar. It's a nice thing to say. V'oymrim, and you say it. That, that's part of the Nusach at Fila. And in the Shulchan Aruch HaRav, um, also over there in Simon Memches, he says that Klal Yisrael was noyig to say the parsha of the Tamid V'kavu Chayva. And the Ramamish made it uh, a Chayva to say it. And that's why the parshas ha-tamid is looked at as a chayva more than the other chalakim that appear in our sitter as uh, chalak of the karbanos. One of the Italian rishonim was called the Shibale Haleket. Shibale Haleket in Simon Hay says, the Chasav Rabbeinu Binyamin Achi. He brings in the name of his brother Rabbeinu Binyamin, Shekriyas Parshas Tamid Chayva. The Kriya of Parshas Tamid is a chayva, and he brings a raya, Shaharei Ein Maskir in Parshas Tamid. Betfila. In Shemana Essay, we don't mention a word about the carbon tamid. When someone says Musaf, so we know that Musaf is connected to the carbon Musaf. So we say, Ka'amur, like it says about the carbon Musaf that's brought, and on Rashkhaidish we say that, and on Yantif we say that Yantif. So why every day in Shachris is there no mention for the carbon tamid? Zakta Shibali Alak in the name of his brother, I'll tell you why. Because you say the Parshas Tamid Mamish. You say the, the real Parshas Tamid, the Psukim, or the Parshas Tamid, so you don't have to mention it in Shemana Essay. It's very interesting. A few hundred years later, the Chuvas Noida Yehuda 
in Madura Kama, Erechayim Simon Dalid was asked the same question. Why in Shemana Esrei of Shachris don't we say anything about the carbon Talmud Shal Shachar? And the carbon in Shemana Esrei of Mincha, don't we say anything about the carbon Talmud Shal Bein Arbayim? So he says that the reason why we don't say Psukei Talmud in, in the Shemana Esrei, oh, see, he has a, a, a whole arichas. First he says we don't know the reasons of the Ache Knes Sagdaila, and then he, he does suggest a reason on his own. But Lamaisa, we see already a few hundred years before that in the Shibali Aleket, he's Ma'ira, this question in the name of his brother, and he said that there's no reason to say it in the middle of Shmanesi because we say it in the Parshas HaTamid. So I think <coughs> the different Chalakim over here, the Ketairas, and the different parts of the of the Avodas HaKarbanes, the Truma Sadeshen, that are Psukim, again, it's Toiv Loimar, everything, because this is all part of the Avodas HaKarbanes, most of it we could just look in the Chumash and learn it, but I would like to, in the next year, go through Pasuk by Pasuk of the Parshas HaTamid, which is in Parshas Pinchas, because that, the Rishonim and the Paiskim seem to make a, a strong Dagesh, that that's a Choyv Amamish, and it doesn't take that long, it takes less than a minute, probably, to say the Parshas HaTamid, it's something we should all get into the habit of doing. We'll just mention to be Messiah tonight that the Mishnah Brewer brings a machlekes ha'poiskim when you do say the parashas ha'tamid, do you have to say it standing or not? The Mug in Avram says that you have to say it standing because when you're saying the parashas ha'tamid, it's as if the carbon tamid is being brought. Car- uh, Carbonus have to be uh, uh, brought mu'umad. Lamoid l'shares. Sheiris has to be standing. It can't even be leaning. So therefore, you're supposed to stand when you say the parashas ha'tamid. But the Mishnah Brewer brings that the shari tshuva, uh, and the Rabbi Yaakov Emden and the Maruk Tzia say that you could do it sitting. Rabbi Yaakov Emden says that he saw that his father, the Chacham Tzvi, that's the Yahweh, it says Rabbi Yaakov Emden, because it's Yaakov Emden ben Tzvi, he's the son of the Chacham Tzvi, so that the Chacham Tzvi used to say the Parshas HaTam is sitting, so it looks like it's a Machlekes HaPoiskim, probably what we could say, Halacha Lamai says that it's better to say it's standing, but if you uh, are tired and you're not able to, so Yesh Almi Lismaich to say it's sitting, but Al Kalpanim, um, that is the Machlekes, and that Machlekes is Ma'iras as well to the concept that when you say the Parshas Tamid, it's as if there's Mamish Ahakrava of the Parshas Tamid, so Amit Hashem next time we'll do the Hiratzin and we'll go through the Psukim of the Parshas Tamid together. Okay.